Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to go step by step and from scratch, we are going to learn how to create HTML reports in Cucumber and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and in a moment, I will show you how you can create reports like this with your existing Cucumber Maven project. So let's get started and to be specific, we are going to use Maven Cucumber reporting here. So let's start with this awesome session and in case you find the speed of this video slow, you can increase the pace from the player settings. So let us learn how to generate the HTML report and the first step is we have to add the Maven Cucumber reporting dependency in our pom.xml. So I will first go to my Eclipse and go to the project and in the earlier session we had created a project for Cucumber BDD command line. So when we had learned command line execution, we had created this project. So let me just go and use this project here. And if I go to pom.xml here, I have all these dependencies and now I will need to add the Cucumber Maven or Maven Cucumber reporting dependency. And for this, I can go to the MVN repository so this is Maven Central or MVN repository and here I will search for Maven Cucumber reporting. And here you can see I have got this Maven Cucumber reporting from master thought. If I go here, you can see all these versions. So you can take the latest version from here. And if I go here, you can get this dependency from here. Now, uh, I will tell you a very easy way how to do this. If I just search for Maven Cucumber reporting on Google and I will get some links along with the GitHub page. So this is the Maven repository. And then if I go to this, this is a GitHub page for this library. If I go here, you can see all the documentation here. So you can see how you can use this in your pom.xml and basically we need to add all the plugin information here so you can copy this from here and a very useful link that i found is this stack overflow article where there is a issue someone has faced using the maven cucumber reporting plugin and here is the solution given i will also add this link in the description of this video so here if you go to this link that is the stack overflow article and if you go to the answer here you can see someone has provided a very clear solution on how how you can use this particular library in your pom.xml so here what i'm going to do is we have to add this dependency and the plugin information so we also have to add the built plugins in pom.xml and for that I will go to my pom.xml here and this is my pom.xml file and in this stack overflow article I will copy the section of build you can see this is the build section which has the plugin information we will need maven surefire plugin we will need maven cucumber reporting and all these options so I can directly copy this from here from the build section the build part I have copied from here and I'm going to go to my pom.xml and just before the end of projects and after the end of dependencies, I'm going to paste this section here. So if I decrease the font pressing control minus on my keyboard, you can see I will also expand this. You can see this is now this is what I have added here. So here we also need to make some changes. So here the first thing is we will need to give the project name here. So I have to replace this with my project name. So my project name is this Cucumber BDD CMD. I can also right click and say here refactor and rename or press F2 so that I can copy the exact name from here and replace it here so here i will just replace the name and i will give my project name and rest of the things are fine and now you can go to project and say clean your project 
and you can build it again so now i have just added this i will do a right click and say run as maven test just to verify this runs fine as a maven test so that i can run it from command line so as of now this is running fine now in case you find some issues like uh, source option 5 is not uh, you cannot run with that and you need 7 or above something like that what you can do is if you go again to this stack overflow here there is one property section which actually tells what is the maven compiler target that you should use so this is also you can copy from here and paste it here in your pom.xml so this is just before the dependencies section you can paste it here and what is missing here is it is only saying what is the compiler target and not the source so you can also add the source here so i will say source as well here and this you can use according to the java jre or jdk you are using and let me show you that as well so let me first change this so i'm saying source and target both are 8 or 1.8 and the reason i am keeping it 1.8 is if i go to my project right click and go to build path and say configure build path and here if i go to add library so you can see it is if i go to add library and jre system library next and install gres you can see in my project jdk 1.8 is being used and in case you find a jre here you can always change it to a jdk if required and for that you can click on add and say next and say directory here and just go to the folder of your jdk on your system which usually is in c program files java and jdk you can just select this folder and add it here as of now it is already added so i'm getting this error and i will just close this and then the next thing that you may face is the compiler version so again for that you can right click on the project and go to build path configure build path and here you will see the java compiler and here if you see it is like 1.5 and you want to change it you can unselect this uncheck this and from here you can select 1.8 or whatever you are using so let me just check with this i will say apply and close and i will again clean my project and then i will again do a right click and say run as now you may also want to go to maven and you can say maven update project and then force update so you may want to do that if required i am just doing it and now i will do a right click run as maven test and let us see if this runs fine so here it is running our tests and yes everything is fine build is successful and if i show you the tests or the feature files if i go to src test resources this is the feature file that is running and we had created this in our command line session and if i show you the runner test runner this is our test runner file now let me increase the font i will press ctrl plus on my keyboard now in the test runner file one more thing that you will have to change is again if i go to my stack overflow and this answer this solution so here you will see it has or it also has the runner file and here let me show you in the runner file we need the json file and json file will be converted into html so here i have al already done clean project and before i go to the command line let me also make this change in the cucumber options here in the test runner file i should be creating a json result file so let me just copy this from here and i will add it in my test runner file uh, i will copy this and add it so i am saying here 
plugin equals to json and this is where it will get generated i will save this and now i can go to the command line so i will go to my command prompt and first i have to change the location to the folder of my project so i will right click on my project go to properties and copy the location and because this is on d drive first i will change to d drive by saying d colon and then i will say cd and location of my project and now i am on my project location so here i can run two commands if you see here in the stack overflow you can say mvn clean test and then run mvn verify minus t skip tests or mvn ver verify you can run this separately or you can say mvn clean verify in a single go so let me first say mvn clean test and let us see the output and they should generate the json result file and everything is passed if i go to my project and go to target folder and do a right click and refresh here i should be having my cucumber.json file it is created and now i can say here in my command line i can say mvn verify and you can also use all these options skip tests all these things so let me just copy this directly from here and run this command so this command will actually generate the html report from the json file and this is done so now if you again go to your target folder and refresh you will see a cucumber html report cucumber report html and here let me just go and uh, open the overview file or let me just open this feature overview i will open this one i will say open with system editor and now here you can see the results and you can see all these steps and features and scenarios everything is here and we get all these details here along with the time taken now because we have not implemented the steps properly or we have not added much code in our step definition therefore it is showing zero milliseconds and here you can see the scenarios pass fail total the steps pass failed skipped pending undefined and then all the total all these metrics and then this is our project name the date if i go to features here you can see all the features and their details and you will see the scenarios and here you will see the steps and you can also go to the feature from here and you can see all these details here you can go to tags if there are any tags in our case we had a tag called smoke and here are the details and the metrics for the tag so again you can check tag wise as of now we have a single tag then we have steps and you can see all these steps and their occurrences duration average time ratio and if you have any failures you will get it here so this is how you can create a report and we have already done step number four and step number five we have done and we have checked the report now as of in this particular scenario and feature we have everything pass let us see what happens if we have a failed step or a failed feature or a scenario uh, so what i'm going to do is let me just copy this login dot feature again i will say here copy and i'm just going to paste it again in the features folder i will say here paste and i will just rename this to demo dot feature so i now ha now have two feature files and i will say this is demo functionality test and here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change one of the steps let me say given user calculates one divided by zero i basically want to fail the step and see the output and i will save this and in my runner file instead of giving a particular feature i am just giving the folder so whatever features are present in this folder will get executed and let me first do a right click here and say run as junit test 
so that it will show me the unimplemented steps yes you can see it has shown me this step is unimplemented I will copy this and go to my step definition file so in the steps folder I have this step definition and I'm just going to copy this here and here in the function I'm going to give something which will create an exception I'm saying int i equals 1 divided by 0 which is a divide by 0 arithmetic exception it should throw an exception and then I am just trying to print the value of i so this should fail and now let us see what happens I am going back to my command prompt and I am running the command again and we already know that you can run a single command so instead of instead of running two commands I can just run mvn clean verify so you can see here instead of running these two commands I can just directly run mvn clean verify which will do both the things so I will say here mvn clean verify and run this and this will first run the tests and the scenarios and then it will generate the report so this is done and failure is because there was some failed step that is why there is built failure and now if I go to my report and check you can see here now we are seeing a failure so these are the features then we have the scenario and then we have the steps and again if I go to here you can see the failed scenario and the failed step I can click here and check the details and here if I go to the error message it gives me the error that it is a arithmetic exception divided by zero so this is fine now if I go to the steps again you can see it shows me all the failures and then tags as well and then if I go to failures here here I am getting the exact failure the failed uh, scenario and the step everything is here I can go back to the feature that has failed so this is all running fine and I am able to see the failures as well properly in this report so this is how you can generate a very good HTML report in Cucumber BDD project and we have learned everything about HTML reports and the Maven Cucumber reporting plugin. I hope this session was useful for you and if you have any questions any doubts you can let me know and I will try to answer you as soon as I can and I will meet you in the next session. Thank you for watching.